got a mess of leftover chicken tacos that you're not sure what to do with. Don't worry, I got you covered. And all we need are flour tortillas and cheese. Start with a pan on the stove on very high heat. Take two tortillas, add your cheese, add your chicken, drop it in your pan, add a little bit more cheese to the top of it, and top it with your other tortilla, and let it and flip. And make a mess, why not? Transfer to a plate and give it just a couple of minutes before you cut it. Serve with a drizzle of hot sauce and some sour cream on the side and you're all done. I forgot to video it, but the second time around, we actually covered the quesadilla and it melted the cheese and held everything together really, really well. And if it looks a little weird, I'm trying out my new tripod, so it might be a little squirrely. So to start off with, we're gonna cook up some noodles. I use egg noodles. It doesn't matter which ones you use, just make sure you cook them al dente because they're going in the oven. Just kidding on the tripod because I just tried to set it up and I dropped my phone in my noodle. So to start off with, you're gonna wanna add a pound of your chicken taco meat. Kinda get that. And then you wanna add a cube block of cream cheese. And get your cream cheese all melted down. As that's melting down, you wanna add a packet or two tablespoons of taco seasoning and mix it up. So now that this is all melted down, you wanna add roughly a cup of sour cream and mix it all up. And then we are also going to add a can of Rotel. So I've added roughly, I'd say like a half a cup of cheese, maybe a little bit more than that, just a couple handfuls and get that all stirred in and then we're gonna add in the noodles. and stir it up. So we have it all mixed up and then we're gonna top it with cheese and put it in the oven at 350 for 20-ish minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And there she goes. And now we wait very impatiently watching children shows. So that's after about 20 minutes. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it in there for like five more. And that's after roughly another, I think I did another 10 minutes. We have a nice little cheese crust going on and it looks really good and it smells really good. So I hope you enjoy.